The Lakers got off to a great start in their second round series with the Warriors, winning game one on the road and stealing home court advantage away from Golden State. And I'm sure most are going to focus on Anthony Davis' dominant 30 point and 23 rebound performance, the first Laker to drop 30 and 20 since Shaq in the playoffs. But while Anthony Davis was great, this video is going to focus on the Lakers defensive game plan because their defense played a huge role in them getting this upset win. The Lakers defensive strategy was to practice ball denial on Steph and Clay and staying attached to them, helping off the Warriors poor shooters to prevent easy attempts at the rim and forcing anyone, anyone but Steph and Clay to shoot the ball. And guess what? It worked. So in this video, I'm going to break down how the Lakers executed on that defensive game plan by showing you guys some film. Throughout the game, the Lakers fought hard through screens to deny Steph and Clay the ball and were fine with just about anyone else shooting it and most times this resulted in a Warriors miss. The third quarter is where the Lakers really started to build separation. On this play, we could see some great ball denial of Austin Reeves on Klay Thompson and Jared Vanderbilt on Steph Curry. They can't get it to them, so they get it to Wiggins. Now Wiggins is going to make in this tough step back three, but the Lakers are going to live with that. Andrew Wiggins only made in one out of his five three-pointers on the night. Jared Vanderbilt put on a defensive masterclass tonight. Here's some great ball denial on Steph. Looney wants to give it to him, but Vanderbilt has closed off the passing lanes. So he gets it to Wiggins, Wiggins shoots the open three, and this time he bricks it. Notice how on this play, how LeBron and Anthony Davis have sagged off of Draymond Green and Kevon Looney because they're not shooting threats. The paint isn't available, he passes it out to Curry, the Lakers wisely double Steph to get the ball out of his hands, Draymond gets it, he misses this contested layup, and the Lakers rebound the miss. On this play, notice the disrespect of Anthony Davis or Draymond Green. Anthony Davis is not worried about Draymond Green shooting it at all. Draymond's trying to do a handoff and Anthony Davis is all the way in the paint. D'Lo does a great job chasing Jordan Poole off the line. He passes it back to Green. Poole's going to get it again, but unfortunately for him, he gets LeBlocked. Not much later, we're going to get some great ball denial on Troy Brown on Klay Thompson. He can't get open. He kicks it to Draymond. He passes it to Gary Payne II. And GP2 is another guy the Lakers are more than happy to let shoot the ball, and he bricks the wide open three. And even when Stephen Clay did shoot, they weren't getting good shots due to Lakers defenders Jared Vanderbilt in particular staying attached to them, which is why Steph didn't have a good shooting night. Notice the heart and the hustle by Vando to fight through screens and stay attached to Stephen Curry. And this play should have resulted in a stop, but Anthony Davis was in a giving mood and this was a Golden State bucket. Here Vando busts his ass to stay attached to Steph Curry again. He deflects this pass and it's a turnover, but you know what? He's also going to get rewarded on the offense end by getting hacked and getting to the free throw line. The Lakers also forced Clay into tough shots all night. Notice how Jared stays attached to Clay. He's going to get this mid-range shot, but it's well defended and he misses it. Now Steve Kerr is going to make a crucial fourth quarter adjustment that nearly wins the Warriors the game. He sees that the Warriors are struggling to get Steph Curry open off the ball, so he puts them on the ball and he just starts lighting up defenders 1v1 and this helps the Warriors to come back from a 14 point deficit. The game is tied, but this clutch D-Lo bucket gives the Lakers the lead. Now LA is clinging onto a two point lead and the Warriors still have a chance to either tie or take the lead themselves. Steph is going to drive on D'Lo and notice how when he gets into the paint, Anthony Davis a worry about no Draymond Green at the corner. He's going to block Stephen Curry's layup, LeBron is going to get it in the fast break and he's going to get free throws. LeBron only makes it one free throw, so the Warriors are only down three, which means they still have a chance to get the win. Notice the great ball denial from Dennis Schroeder this time, and Draymond Green is going to try to get it to Steph, but Dennis is going to use those long arms of his to deflect it. The Warriors get it back though, Jordan Poole drives to the rim, but thanks to some great help defense from Anthony Davis, he's going to miss this shot. LeBron is going to try to hit this dagger, but he misses it. That means the Warriors still have a chance to win the game. But the Lakers are smart here. They double stuff to get the ball out of his hands. He gets it to Jordan Poole. Poole tries to be the hero, but he ends up the zero. He misses it. Dennis Schroeder recovers the ball, and that's pretty much the ball game there. 
After some clutch free throws from Dennis Schroeder, the game is pretty much over and the Lakers have won game one of this series. So there you have it, Hoopheads. The Lakers played for game one of the series extremely well. They made sure to stay attached and to, to die the ball from the Splash Brothers. They made sure to help off of poor shooters. And even though the Warriors did that just in the fourth quarter, the Lakers were able to get just enough stops to come home with the W. I don't know about y'all, but I'm super excited to watch game two of this series and see how the Warriors adjust. So if you enjoyed this breakdown and you want to see more dope content just like it and want to watch me continue to cover this series, drop a like on the video and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have an amazing rest of your day, guys.